hated this harmonica when I first got it. I hated it, didn't like it uh, at all. But, but why would I say that I hate it? Look, it's, it's part of the campaign. Okay. I hated it. But as I got used to playing it and learning what it actually does, I loved it. 30 minutes to an hour of playing the actual scale notes, just blow, draw, blow, draw. I was able to find this simple pattern with uh, the pentatonic scale and that added blue note in there. And I found one simple melody. And once I found that melody, I realized how quickly, how easily I could transpose that melody with the same exact pattern moving around the harmonica. So then I quickly fell in love with the pen of heart. If I had had this tool in the very beginning, if somebody had started me on this right away, I'd have been a monster on this much quicker. And what scale is it? The minor pentatonic. What does that mean? Well, that means it's a popular scale for blues, for rock, for jazz, for funk. So it's immediately accessible to people that like those styles of music. <laughs> I know that the instincts are, because I'm teaching all the time, is that a beginner and intermediate players want to engage in this draw blow pattern. And so the advantage of this pentaharp is that it plays off of that draw blow pattern and we can actually just play the scale without changing that, that thought process. Blow, draw, and I'll continue blow, draw all the way up. This is one of the huge advantages is that the breathing pattern is simply blow, draw all the way up or draw, blow all the way down. And that scale is right in front of you. You can play the pentatonic scale alone or the blues scale as well. Much easier. What I'm playing right now is a Honer Marine Band in B flat. I'm playing it in second position F minor. The reason it's minor is because I'm bending three draw. And getting the minor third. This note is really hard to hit in the second octave on a regular tuned harmonica. It's a six overblow. And up top, it's the 10 double blow band. All of that is solved on the pentaharp, all right? Your second note of your scale, your one draw, start on your one blow, is already tuned down minor. And then the rest of the harp is naturally placed into the minor pentatonic scale, meaning that you're getting a flat seven as well. You don't have to do any bending. So an amateur player, a harmonica guy that uses a rack and a guitar, be very interesting for him, but also an intermediate or pro player can make a lot of sense out of these new harmonicas. So naturally, some people are going to go, well, geez, I can already play the minor pentatonic in second position, and so can you, Jason. So why is this thing any good? Okay, <clears throat> it's natural to shy away from a new tuning because it's a different layout. I am of that camp. When I, whenever somebody comes out with a new tuning, I'm just like, I would rather just overblow, I would rather just bend. Because the problem, the inherent problem with the tuning is every time you correct an issue, you've now created another one. So if you're in a minor tuned harmonica and the band goes to a major chord for one song, you now have to bend or overblow to play that chord. So it's completely understandable. Why is the pentaharp different? Okay, it's different 
because its layout is unique to the pentaharp. It is not a tuning that is altered off of the standard Richter tuning. It is a blow, draw, blow, draw, blow, draw formula. And that formula is there to familiarize you with one of the most important scales that we can do, which is the minor pentatonic. <laughs> You can also bend, which is a great feature on it. I quickly realized that you could bend moving all the way from seven through 10 draw, which was remarkable. You cannot do this on a standard Richter tune harmonica at all. There is no draw bending available above six. So when I realized that I could bend seven, eight, nine, and 10, and I had the whole range of draw bends available, I realized quickly just how expressive this instrument was. I think for a lot of folks that are trying to learn to play harmonica, one of the advantages of the pentaharp is that we're used to having to engage in an entirely different technique for blow bending, seven through 10 on a Richter tuned harmonica. And with the pentaharp allowing you to draw bend, you can carry along your knowledge from the Richter tuning and just draw bend, but you can carry that all the way up past six and seven and eight, nine and 10. So I find that it's going to be easier for the average player to engage in bending all across the harmonica compared to a Richter tune where you would have to learn how to blow bend, which is a very different tongue position than uh, draw bending. This is the best thing about it ever. Tongue block splits. No more changing splits from three hole splits to two hole splits, two hole splits, octaves. On the pentaharp, the embouchure doesn't change at all. So once you learn how to play a two hole cover, that means your tongue is covering two holes, and you play an octave, that will work on every where on the harmonica blow and draw. So another really amazing discovery, um, now I'm a traditional blues player, but I learned how to overblow. Overblowing is an advanced technique that allows you to raise the pitch of the note. And it's available on a few holes on the bottom of a standard Richter tune harmonica. The most common ones being six and five overblow that are used a lot. And there's a little bit of overdrawing, the same technique a little bit available on the upper end, not all the holes of a Richter tune, but I had no idea that you could actually overblow until I started experimenting on the pentaharp, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So I'm gonna just demonstrate. And I find that they're actually easier than overblowing on a Richter tuned harmonica because of them being located higher on the harmonica, these reeds are a little more friendly, being shorter to execute an overblow. The extra added notes of expression to get the sharp note there would allow itself to become extremely friendly for chromatic playing, where you really want to embellish perhaps jazz or other styles of music beyond blues and rock and roots music. It's a great harmonica to be creative with. The more I play with this little instrument, the, the more I realize that the application is pretty much endless. Um, if you're playing a minor song, I can't think of many styles of music that it won't work for. Um, what pops to my head is, is just jumps out as being great fit is um, all types of blues, uh, many different styles of jazz, bluegrass, classic rock, rock and roll, pop music, and the list goes on and on. Uh, you're gonna find right away that the melodies are easier to play. They're, they're logically placed in that blow draw pattern right in front of you. And with the use of the extra expression and the extra notes that we can find with the bending and the overblowing, it's seemingly endless, uh, the possibilities of melodies that you could acquire on the high end of the pentaharp. <laughs>